The Code Hard Truth. Fighting bad programming one error at a time. Hey, welcome in. So today what we're going to be talking about is how to fill your grid view with images using a custom adapter. So I'm going to be working within a fragment for this specific video. If you're working within an activity, it's the same exact logic so you could follow along. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your XML layout and you want to create a grid view. Then this is just standard stuff. You go in here, you create a grid view, you find the view by ID with your ID. And then what you want to do is you want to set an adapter to this grid view. Now, what's this adapter? Well, it's going to have to be a custom one that we're going to make. And the class is right here, and we'll go through those steps. And the reason you want to make a custom adapter for this is that it gives you a lot more flexibility with what you could do. You could add different types of widgets. You could add text views, edit texts, more pictures. Whatever you want, you could do with a custom adapter. It just gives you, again, way more flexibility. So before we get to the custom adapter, I went online and I just found a bunch of random pictures. Uh, there's really no rhyme or reason to them. And I threw them all in my drawables folder. Now, the way Android works is all of these resources are actually integers. That way it allows the system to go and find your resources. So you're actually able to put all of these images within an integer array. And that's what we did here. Now that I have these, we can use them within our grid view and display them. But again, the link between this integer array and this grid view is going to be the custom adapter, which we're going to look at right now. So this is just a regular class that we made, and we went ahead and we extended base adapter. Now, the second you extend this, you're going to get an error because there's a number of abstract methods that need to be implemented. You click implement and there they are right there. If you don't know what an abstract method is, I actually made a video on this a little bit earlier. It's called abstract classes versus interfaces. So you're going to have to implement all of these, which we already did earlier. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, here they are right here, the override methods. So what we're going to want this adapter to do is to basically take in two things, the context and our array of images. So we're going to create private member variables within our class, and then we're going to place them within our constructor and assign, again, the context and the integer array that's going to be passed to our constructor. Once those variables are set, we're going to be able to then fill those images out within the grid view. This method in particular, this get view, this is really where all of the quote unquote magic happens. Uh, this is what's filling out your grid view with your images. And the way it works is it already has a number of variables in its parameters that are going to be used uh, again to fill out the grid view. So if you take a look, what we're doing here is we're creating an image view and we're checking if this convert view is null, which is coming from here. As soon as you display the grid, this is going to be null. All this really is, is when you scroll up within a grid view and a couple of images go out of focus, then those are the ones that become stored as this convert view. So when you bring them back, the program knows, oh yeah, these are the images that are within your grid view. Let me bring them back. Again, once you start the grid view, this convert view is going to be null. So we're going to go ahead and set our image view with the context that we passed. And then we are going to set certain parameters for this images. This is basically scaling the individual image to size. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and set the image resource with this array that we passed. And we're going to go through it using this variable from this method called position. So again, all this is doing is it's filling out our grid one by one with these images that we provided it through our array. If you go back to where our array is, now that we have our grid view, we could set our adapter and then we just create an instance of this custom grid adapter class. We pass it the context. And again, I'm working within a fragment, so I'm going to be passing get activity. Uh, if you're in an activity, you could use this or get application context. And then we pass it the array of images that we have. Once we do that and we hit run, again, you already saw this, but this is what's going to end up popping up 
These are all of our images that are laid out. Uh, they're all proportionate, and that came from, again, what we were able to do in the custom adapter when we took the image view and uh, we set the layout parameters. Uh, we set them to scale. So if you want some more information on exactly what some of this stuff is and what it does, uh, this is probably the best website right here. It's just from the Android developer site. Just check out GridView. But again, if you see it visually, sometimes it just makes a little bit more sense. So hopefully now you know how to insert images into your GridView using a custom adapter.